What is going on, everybody? Uh, happy holidays um, to everyone. You know, Christmas had, has just passed, so Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, you know, whatever you're celebrating. Which to start off, you know, Happy Holidays to everybody. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have another video coming out before New Year's. So if I don't have another video that comes out before New Year's, then, you know, Happy New Year's to everyone. Uh, hopefully 2021 is going to be a little bit better than 2020 has. Um, now, if you don't know, uh, I'm currently sitting in a 2020 F-150. Uh, it's got the 5 liter, 5.0. Um, it's rear wheel drive, so it's a two wheel drive truck. And after driving this truck, it made me think of something after driving it for the past like month. The reason why I'm driving this truck is like, if you don't know, uh, Wawa put gas in my diesel pickup truck, my F-250. So uh, you can watch some of my other videos and I'll explain further what happened with Wawa. But for now, I'm just, you know, everything's going okay. But um, after driving this truck for... It's been about a month now, I'd say, maybe a little bit less than a month. Uh, I can say this truck has really made me appreciate the Ford Lightning. Um, you know, if you guys don't know, the Lightning came out in like 90, 92 or something like that, 93. I forget the years of it. That was like the first generation Ford Lightning. Uh, it was just an F-150 regular cab short box you know with a more powerful 5.0 in it i think it was about the same as like a mustang um and i mean it was just a kind of a basic truck i don't think you could get a manual i'm pretty sure they're all automatic i may be wrong about the first gens um so yeah other manual automatic but whatever you know it was like a more powerful it's a sportier version of the f-150 now all the uh, all the the big three manufacturers are doing this Dodge had the uh, the Beretta Express in like the 70s, so they were kind of like the first ones to do it. Um, but Dodge didn't really have too much going on. They had like the Dodge Dakota with like, you know, it's like a little bit sporty. They had like a sport package Dodge Dakota, but Dodge didn't really have, I think they had like a Shelby, Shelby Dakota or something like that. So Dodge kind of had some type of like, you know, power truck, but mainly it was Ford and Chevy. Uh, Chevy had... Uh, the first one's a Cyclone. They had the Cyclone. That was like the 80s. Like a little, uh, like GMC Sonoma, whatever the hell they're called. It's like an S10 pretty much. And then they had the Typhoon, which is like the Blazer, the little S10 Blazer. Um, they, those are their performance trucks. Those are in the 80s. And then Chevy in the 90s, I don't know the exact years, had the 454 SS, which is like the same thing as the Ford. It's a regular cab, short box. You know, just like a sportier truck, different suspension, a little bit lower, handle a little bit better. Um, and you know, Ford had the Lightning. Then, starting in like late 90s, and Ford came out with the new style, uh, the you know, the OBS style trucks ended in 97, so 98 to 04, 03, I think it was, maybe even 05, I think it's 04. Um, you have like the rounder style F 150s. Um, and there is also a Lightning in that generation. Pretty much the same setup, just a different motor. It came with the 5.4 instead of the 5.0 because they didn't make the 5.0 anymore. Um, so it came with the 5.4. Now that was only automatic. I know that for a fact. Um, but those those generation Lightnings are only automatic. Um, and those came supercharged. Now I don't know the power numbers on them. I would imagine it's probably somewhere right around-ish, like 300 something horsepower give or take, I don't know the power numbers, so don't, you know, don't kill me here if I get my numbers off, but I would imagine they're somewhere right around 350, 300 horsepower. Um, they're fairly light, you know, there's not a whole lot of weight to them, no four-wheel drive, no nothing. And that, it brings me to this truck that we're currently sitting in, because in a way, this is kind of like an old-school Ford Lightning. It's two-wheel drive, you know, it does have a short bed, it doesn't have the full set, full length bed. Now it is a crew cab instead of you know a regular cab, even an extended cab. Um, so it does have the full you know cab configuration. But uh, this truck is kind of like an old school Ford Lightning. That's what I feel like when I'm driving this thing. And uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, I've been having a blast in this truck. It rides really nice. It's got great power. I mean, this is probably the fastest car I've been in personally. You know, I haven't really been in like my friend's S2000 is quick. You know, but it only because it's light. 
You know, if this car had more power, the thing would really be fast, but his cars aren't really all that powerful, you know, for the power to weight's good on it, but it's not that quick as this. I mean, this, I mean, it's heavier, but I mean, I'm telling you, this thing pulls like, it pulls pretty hard, especially if you put it in like sport mode. You do, you, when you go through different drive modes, you can really, it really changes the characteristic. You go in the sport mode and it's, it's pretty sporty. This, the shifts, it holds the, the revs out longer. Uh... You know, it, it shifts a little bit firmer. It definitely uh, it definitely feels sportier. But when you turn the traction control off, it will definitely let the tires loo loose if you let the traction control off. If you turn it off, it the truck will get squirrely, that's for sure. Um, but I, I've been having a blast with this truck, and if like I got this for free, or even if I found a good deal on like a newer style F-150 like this, I might even pick one up. I mean, I've really been enjoying driving this truck. Um... It's not quite Ford Lightning level. I couldn't even imagine how much fun this truck would be if they added like a supercharger, even a turbo. They made it a regular cab with a short bed. They could do either two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. I think they should probably do, should have an option of both. But I don't know. Personally, I think they should come back out with the Ford Lightning. Now, I have seen some like renders or like people bought, you know, like regular cab short box trucks. And then they put like a supercharger or they hopped it up, they put a tune, whatever. And then they call it the Ford Lightning. There have been people that have done that, but I think Ford should actually come out with a factory released Ford Lightning. Do some like cool colors you can only get on that truck. Do like some, you know, get like a grabber green. Like just put cool colors, like some of the Mustang colors, you know, like a, uh, what's that blue color? Not nitrous blue. That's the Ford Focus. But like the nitrous blue that was on the Ford Focus. Like, do cool colors on it. Do like different graphics packages. Do the little lightning, lightning badge on the bed. You know, I really think they should bring back the Ford Lightning. Um, now I know there isn't really a high demand for like sporty trucks, but I do think there is some type of market for that. Um, especially especially since Ford you know, got rid of all their cars. If you want something sporty from Ford, your you're really only, your only option really at this point is the Mustang. Uh, at least before with their other cars, you had other options for something sporty. So if you're getting a, a, something sporty from Ford, you're only getting a Mustang. Now they have different setups for the Mustang. You know, they're coming out the Mach-E now, so it's like a electric SUV or whatever. Um, then they have their regular, you know, just 5.0, 5.0 V8 rear-wheel drive standard Mustang. Then they got EcoBoost. So they have, you know, different types of Mustangs for people. But if you don't want to have, like, that Mustang name associated, which some people hate the Mustang name, you know, I feel the Ford Lightning would be a different option for someone. Um, you know, it's somewhat practical. You have the bed in the back. And, I mean, let's face it, even a two-wheel drive truck is still somewhat capable of, you know, going down dirt trails or doing things that are truck-like. You don't have to have necessarily four-wheel drive. So, it would still be better, more practical than a Mustang. More room. Uh, the fuel economy would probably be a little bit less. But, overall, it would probably be a better a better platform. A little bit more diverse than a Mustang would be. Um, and I personally think there is somewhat of a market for it. I mean, I know Chevy hasn't released a sporty truck in forever. I don't think they really have any sporty trucks. You know, everyone now is doing off-roading stuff, which is great. I love, I'm all for, like, off road -y style trucks. But, I don't know. They're, they're, Ford is, not necessarily Ford. Like, all the manufacturers are coming back out with older stuff. I mean, Chevy re-released uh, re the Blazer name, which is a joke. But the point is, they came back with an older vehicle. They they kind of made it sporty or whatever. I think the bla the new Blazer is terrible, but yeah, that's all personal opinion. You may love it, and that's great. Um, but look at what Ford's doing with the Bronco. They came back with the Bronco. They, like it looks like an old school, you know, 1967 Ford Bronco. You know, it's got a cool look to it, and everyone loves it. I have not met a single person that does not like the Bronco. I've seen the people they're like, oh, you know, it's okay. But I never, like, I haven't met a single person that said the new Bronco sucks. I mean, there's not a single person that has said that to me. Uh, even people that don't even like Fords. I've been like, oh, yeah, the Bronco's not too bad. Seems all right. So, I mean, they're coming back out with not vin necessarily vintage cars, but they're kind of coming back out with the older stuff that, you know, nameplates that they, they discontinued 20 years ago and stuff. 
You got to think, when the Ford Bronco was out, they had the Ford Lightning out too. Um, I don't know. Personally, I think I think there's a market for sporty trucks. And after driving this truck, it's... I don't know. I, I'm all for it. I used to not really be like a two-wheel drive truck kind of guy. I mean, I, I appreciated the Lightning and stuff, but... I don't know. After driving, after driving this truck and feeling the sportiness of it and stuff, it's just... I don't know. I'm kind of into it. I feel like I would enjoy driving like a Ford Lightning. Um... Because the sportiest car I have is my Crown Vic, and I mean, this is a lot faster than my Crown Vic could ever dream of. Uh, probably it's more practical too, to be quite honest with you. But I don't know. That's that's pretty much it. Just, that's just I don't know. That's what I was on my mind. I've been thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? Ford should really come out with the Ford Lightning. Like, I feel like that would be a good truck. You know, they don't. I don't. I can't think of anything sporty, sporty trucks from Ford. The only thing that I can think of is like, you know, their EcoBoost. You know, if you try to get like a I don't think they even I don't think they even make regular cabs anymore. You know? I'm not sure. I think they still do make regular cabs. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think Ford should come back with the Lightning. Personally, I think it would sell. I don't think it'd be the most popular vehicle they're selling. I don't think it'd be, you know, as popular as a standard F-150, obviously. Or maybe not even outsell the Mustang, to be quite honest with you. But I still think there is a market for it. And, you know, maybe even in some type of way... The police could use it for like highway patrol or something. You know, I don't. I don't think they do that. But uh, you know, it could be used for other markets too. It could be used for the. I don't want to say run a car market. I don't really know if run a company. You know, enterprise and stuff like that. I could be running out Ford Lightnings to people. But I'm sure Ford is pretty smart. They know how to market stuff. I'm sure they could come out with some type of like performance, performance truck. Besides the Raptor, the Raptor. I knew they had some some type of sport truck. I couldn't think of the name of it. Um, but that's like off-roady, you know? I feel like they should make a cool street cool street truck. Uh, and the Ford Lightning's where it's at, I'm telling you. I think, I think they should do it. So, all right, that's it. My quick little ramble. I'll see you guys in the next video. Once again, if I don't make a video before New Year's, Happy New Year's, and uh, I don't know. Have a great day.